Hey guys, today I've got an Amana washer and Maytag Bravo's electric dryer set going up. And I always do a video as if you're standing here yourself checking it out, that way you can see everything's working perfect on it. And now on this guy here, I've got it set to deep water wash. You can see those other settings there. We can lift this up and check it out. Full submersion on those clothes. That material is working perfect there, kind of vortexing those clothes. I'm just taking the two little screws out of the locking mechanism here. Otherwise, this lid would be locked. You wouldn't be able to open it up. It's a nice safety feature. Uh, and on this model, actually, that lid lock probably only goes when it goes into actual spin. So you would be able to open this up, toss another uh, piece of laundry in there if you needed to. Otherwise, uh, you can see, it fills up just fine. Sounds great agitating. We'll move on uh, with the rinse cycle. I'll show you that the water drains out just fine. Then on the final spin cycle, you get to see and hear that it's got a nice, fast, smooth final spin cycle. Then when these clothes are all done, we'll pull them out and stick them in the dryer. That way you can check the dryer out as well. Okay, now we're moving out of the wash cycle. It's draining the water out, you can hear it. Turn that water out nice and fast. So you know everything there draining wise is working properly. All right, we moved out of the rinse cycle now into the final spin cycle. And it is draining the water out as it starts to spin. See a nice super fast spin cycle, which is great because it's going to max extract those clothes, the water out of the clothes, and cut your drying time into half. There again, the lid would be typically be locked. I'll put that back in place before I get them listed up here. But as you can see in here, nice smooth balanced operation. Sounds great. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and finish up and we'll move over to the dryer. Okay, now I've got the Maytag Bravos electric dryer. It's got tons of options, tons of features here on it. You can pause and take a look at those. Right now, I've got it set to more dry on the auto and got the heat set at medium, which is still pretty hot. I'll show you here in just a sec. Uh, you can hear it running. Nice, smooth operation, sounds great. And I've got my surface temperature gun. So right in between those two red dots, it's gonna take a surface temperature measurement. It's about 72 degrees on top of the dryer. If I point it on the ground, you'll see much colder down there, it's about 64. So we'll go ahead and open this up. See it's tumbling great. Shoot it right inside that heating element tube. Plenty of heat coming out of that tube right there. And that in turn is gonna heat the inside of your dryer anywhere from about 95 up to 195. That just really depends on what you have your heat setting at. If you got your lint trap right here, you wanna make sure that gets changed out every single time after every load. Good start. Back up. Hey guys, real quick before I ended my video, I totally forgot about this, so I wanted to add it in. There's a bonus here. We've got an included shoe rack. So that will come with the sale. Um, I'll include it in the pictures as well. But you can pile your shoes on there, close that up, hit go. It'll dry those shoes, and when you're done, it just lifts right up and out. And it's good to go. Now you guys know both of these work perfect. I'll go ahead and get them listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. And I do appreciate you taking time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys have a great day.